let's go back to the uh, present day here, and let's go to the uh, the NFL Week 14. It, it, yeah, it is Week 14. NFL Week 14. And Grant, you're back up here now. What is your your NFL game of the week? So I had a couple games down that were actually good games, but I'm gonna totally pivot here and do a 180. <laughs> Listen to this, boys. My game of the week here. It's going to be the Thursday night game, Pittsburgh and New England, just for this aspect here. I want to see how miserable Al Michaels is while he's re- while he's broadcasting this game <laughs> tomorrow night. <laughs> it might be so bad he might have to eat a vegetable. <laughs> he might have to eat a vegetable. He might straight up just walk out and say, I'm done. I'm going to retire. Kirby, you got this. You can figure it out. You're the football guy. Um some of these Thursday night that games, may, or, or, or that might turn him after all those years of avoiding vegetables, he might become one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's been a lot of these Thursday night games that have almost had Al stroke out. Um, he's seen some wonderful sporting events in his day, and this might be the worst one of all. And um, the fact that he has to see the Steelers for the second time this year on a Thursday night um, is just awful. So I'm I'm just I'm here for the Al Michaels reaction on Prime Video because they're going to be absolutely gold. Yeah, it, it it's going to be so bad it's good. Hopefully, I think that's yes. what we're shooting for with this one. And who, um, who knows? In the second half of this game, it might just become a, um, hey, I'm Al Michaels and this is what I would do for my betting weekends, my bets this weekend in the NFL. <laughs> I think the over under when I was looking this morning, it was like, it was teetering on an Iowa, Iowa under. It was like 30 like and 30. a half. I think. Oh, Let's pound the under. Right Absolutely. Pittsburgh is six pound point, the under. Pittsburgh's six point favorites here. The <laughs> over under is 30 and a half. So it went up a point. <laughs> Absolutely. Pound the under. Oh, big time. But my, uh, my NFL game of the week features, uh, my 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 favorite team. It's gonna be Cowboys versus Eagles. Uh, battle for first place. Battle potentially for home field advantage throughout. And Dallas. This is all. This is basically a must win because Dallas, when they are at home since Mike McCarthy's taken over, have developed a nice little home field advantage. Something that you have not seen since they've opened AT and T Stadium. Um, they have not lost in AT&T Stadium since week one of the 22 season when they lost to the Bucs. Um, but mm. for Dallas, keys to the game is, is they're going to have to run the ball effectively again. Uh, it seems like with the offensive line, they seem to be gelling more. They've been running the ball a lot more effectively, which has led to more um, efficient trips to the to the red zone or the gold zone, as Mike McCarthy would say it. Uh, big thing, so would, again. So would Nathaniel Hackett. Yes. Uh, no turnovers in the red zone or no turnovers in general. Dak's done a really good job this year of, of not turning the ball over. Um, and then defensively, it's, it's going to come down to, can you stop the run? Can you shut down that running attack of Jalen hurts and Deandre Swift? Most importantly, Deandre Swift, because as we've said on this podcast, he is what makes this offense offense go. Um, you have to make Philly one dimensional, make it a drop back pass game because I don't think Jalen Hurts can beat you that way. Because I don't think he can beat you with his arm. And Jalen Hurts, with he, with him beat up, get pressure on him, make him uncomfortable, make him not, um, don't make him, don't let him get into a groove or make them where they're playing complimentary football. Just wear them down, beat them up, beat them up, and and let the uh, Find yourself, go, find yourself in first place after this. Put the pressure on Philadelphia. Well, I'm going to the East Coast. Uh, if you go to this city, there's a, at least a 30% chance you're going to get shot. But Baltimore, uh, we're going Rams and Ravens. Uh, Good choice. Rams, Good three straight wins, three and six. Mm-hmm. Thought they were dead in the water. Six and six, right in the thick of it. Baltimore coming off a, a bye and... I think it's going to be a great game. Uh, Kyron Williams coming back has been absolutely massive for the Rams. Their offense looks legitimate. And Cooper Cup didn't even play well, well last week, and they put up 36 on, on a good Browns defense, uh, a good Browns defense. So if Stafford can get time, I think he can pick these guys apart a little bit, um, and they'll be able to put points up. Can they stop Lamar is going to be the question. 
Yeah, that defense, it's going to be important because this is also one of those early West Coast teams coming across the country playing that early game. So does that the jet lag have a factor on them? And and like you said, Ethan, this is both teams are playing some of their best football. Playoff implications, the Rams are battling for a wild card spot. Ravens they're battling the, for that number one seed. Yeah, the Rams, guys, they're the they're the eight seed right now behind the Packers. And the Packers have the head to head over the Rams. So they're both at six and six. Um but it's also for the big for the Rams because they beat the Seahawks um a couple weeks ago and Seattle is in the ninth spot. Um so they're behind the Rams. So and and you know, funny, when I originally had my games for this week that I thought would be the game of the week, this was an option. Um but then I decided to Me too. go the Al Michaels Road of Misery, which sounded so much better. Um but good choice. Al Michaels Road of Misery. That's good. I like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I guess when I'm cutting this tomorrow tomorrow night, I can uh, when I when I come out, I, we can uh, I can say that Al Michaels was miserable on why Al Al, Mis- Al Michaels was miserable on Thursday night football. That is correct. But, but sure. that works up Jabril, some. In the words of Jabril Peppers, man, we ass. 